Well, hey, everybody. I'm Kim Bourgeois Landry, and I'm the Wonky Quilter. I'm so happy to have you here with me this afternoon. It is March 25th, 2020, and um, most of us are on lockdown in our homes for safety's sake. It's a strange time out there, but as quilters and sewers and makers and crafters and hobbyists and really, I think I just want to go back to makers, people who make things and, um, and enjoy the process. A lot of times being stuck in our homes is not the worst thing that can happen to us by far because our joy very often is created where our machines are, right? So I'm in the process now of making um, masks. This one I have stopped for a few minutes. I've stopped for a lot of few minutes. Um, it has not been the easiest process for me. These are not hard masks to make. Um, but I don't know how to make clothes, you know what I'm saying? I like call myself the wonky quilter for a very good reason. And every time I make one, I go, oh, okay, I'll keep this one for my family. <laughs> because it's like I've got a tension issue with the thread or um, the straps are sewn on wrong or look what I just did. Uh, and I'm not even taking it off. I just sewed First of all, my mama told me there'd be days like this. Look at that close up. Look at that. That's so not beautiful. And look at the strap. That's the back side on the front of the mask. This is the front. So, I mean, you go through the whole thing. This is the last one I had to sew on. And look what I did. All backwards. I know, it's okay because I believe that these masks are going to go to, um, in my local area, the Cajun Dome. It's our big, you know, it's where all the concerts are, where the basketball games are played, where, you know, all kind of things happen at the Cajun Dome. And they're doing the testing. They're doing testing out of cars, you know, drive up testing there. And they asked for some masks um day before yesterday so um i have dropped off masks to one place it's hard to say masks and um these i think i'm gonna get a little box together and just drop them off there so people who are being test actually tested for corona are people with maybe people in the same car but they want to send some people home with ma some people who are ill they want to send them home with some masks so um, but I've taken a break because when FaceTiming my grandchildren yesterday, my granddaughter, who was six, asked, me, asked if I could make her a mask. She doesn't need a mask. She didn't say it's sad or scary. She was like, oh my gosh, Momo, can I have a mask? I need a mask. So I was like, of course I'll make you a mask. I'll pick, make one for you and your sister. I, I'd already made a couple of them um, for little girls. I don't think I have it. I think I might have dropped them. Here's one. Here's one. Here's two that I'd made for little bitty children. You know, this is, it really is tiny. And there's a little ruffle on the edge. Do you know, I just, and I put a little elastic for the children, for under the chin. You know, I guess an adult could wear this, but it's pretty, I don't have the biggest head in the world. And it's, it's pretty, it's pretty si small. And then here's one that I guess a boy could wear. You know, it pops open in that too. And, um, oh, here, this is the, the top because this one is, it has the bread tie in it to go around. And this would be, again, for a little person. But, so, um, I had three or four of them yesterday and she didn't want any of these. She wanted the one, she was like, show me some other fabric and this is what she chose. So I'm gonna make this one for her this afternoon so I can put a little care package together for her and her sister who are home with their parents um, a couple of hours away from us. Mm. And that's not bad. I know a lot of people have family across the country or in, in other countries and my heart goes out to you um, because I feel uh, a little bit 
out of sorts, knowing that I couldn't get to my daughter if I needed to, you know, that kind of thing. But this is the way to keep everybody safe. So please, everyone, stay off of the streets. Stay away from your neighbors. Find something to do in your homes. We all can find something. Like I said, I'm making, I'm making masks and... Um, I was on the phone a lot this morning. I was doing a little dream work. I also like to help people interpret their dreams. So if anybody has a dream, let me know. Maybe we can get on phone or on, um, not FaceTime. Yeah, FaceTime. Because in these challenging times, sometimes things show up in our dreams. It really does. Okay, listen, what did I have to tell you? Oh, something... In particular oh in my local area everybody think about um if you are making masks mm, i don't want to hear it if i really don't want any comments about that masks aren't enough that these masks are inferior and they're not enough because it's true they're inferior and they're not enough and we're actually getting nurses calling people's homes and saying, please, are you sewing? I know you sew. Are you sewing masks? Could we get some masks from you? So the two quilt stores um, in my area, Lola Pink, who was nice enough to help me um, get the first pattern printed that I was using. I've gone on to a different pattern now. Um, so thank you, Lola Pink. And they're not open, but they're doing curbside service. I guess that is open. They're taking orders over the phone and um, online and they're working hard trying to organize and get these masks to the medical professionals I don't know that the medical professionals are going to use these or if they're going to really to hand them out to people in the hospital so that they don't they have a better chance of not breathing in oxygen or being exposed to a patient that has um, COVID-19 um, and a and A sewing in Broussard, who actually, the, I saw the first video, uh, how-to video, and the first pattern name I saw Claire with A and A in Broussard put out, and they're doing a bang-up job collecting masks. They have a big container outside the store, and they pick it up, pick up the mask two or three times a day, and they too are online and open. Um, and I think that they will ship across the country, as far as I know, both of these stores. And they both have um, lovely mother-daughter teams running the joints. And um, they're just great stores. We're lucky to have them here in the Lafayette, Broussard area. We really are. Um, anyway, I had put together... Oh, okay. I forgot to tell you this part. They're asking for, what I'm hearing is that a lot of men can't wear the masks. You know, the patterns just weren't big enough. So we are trying our best to add an inch or two across, you know, the width and the length of the mask because men have facial hair and their faces are wider and they need longer straps. So we're just all adding an inch here and there to make things longer. I haven't seen um, a new pattern for that. But I am, this is much wider. The, the original pattern I saw said that after gathering right here, this should be about three inches long. And this is much longer than that. Um, and I added on here also to the length for a, a, larger, a larger head. Okay. I had um, prepared for this week so that I wasn't so late on my videos, I'd prepared a video about working with scraps, which I'm doing. All of all of these that I'm making, all of these masks, all came from scrap. I have all of this that I've decided to work with. Purples aren't my favorite, so I went to the purples first because most people love purple. I'm, I'm like, you know, whatever. And I'm in Louisiana. Hello, LSU territory. But if anybody needs any fabric in my local area, um, or if I need to mail some to you, I can. Somebody give me a call and I will send you a nice chunk of fabric. I have this, a nice, I think that this is nice for, you know, male, female. 
and there's a lot of fabric in here. This may have been a sheet. These have all been washed in hot water um, and dried on, you know, sterilized. And I have this nice red. So I can share some fabric if anybody in my area needs any. Um, let me know. We can make an arrangement to drop some stuff off in a in a um, in your mailbox, or you can come and pick it up in my mailbox or under the carport in a bag. Come with your gloves, kind of thing. Um, but let me know. Just send me a message down below and tell me what is it that you and your family are doing to keep yourselves cheerful to keep yourselves well fed and nourished and exercise and just to really keep your spirits up while this strangeness is happening. Um, thanks for being with me and thanks for listening to the president. If you're in the United States, you may be elsewhere, but whoever your leaders are, and here in Louisiana, please listen to our governor, stay inside. Louisiana's cases are the fastest rising in the world. And um, the experts believe it's because we just came out of carnival season, which is the Mardi Gras festival time, which is huge in New Orleans, like millions of people come into New Orleans and the surrounding towns. And Lafayette has a large Mardi Gras. Homa, Louisiana has a large Mardi Gras. Um, Lake Charles has a large Mardi Gras. And then under the cities, every town has their own parades, their own um, fancy, fancy balls, their backyard parties. There is a whole six or eight weeks of reveling before the day of Mardi Gras. And then the day after Mardi Gras, this is a huge, huge Roman Catholic area. The day after Mardi Gras is Ash Wednesday, and every Catholic goes to church to get ashes. So again, there, you know. So we have had more than average of time where people were just rubbing shoulders together, giving hugs, showing love, just being all friendly and... Um, enjoying in the enjoying the festival with each other and i think that maybe it's looking like that might have been kind of a little perfect storm for louisiana so keep us in your prayers um if anybody has any any comments please comment below or drop me a line at the wonky quilter at gmail.com and like I said, if anybody needs um, any fabric to make masks, I'll be happy to help you out if you're running low. Um, I still have a little bit of elastic, but not enough to share. I think a and &A announced, a and &A and Broussard, a and &A Sewing and Broussard announced that they do have um, elastic in today. I think a fourth of an inch with a limit of 10 yards that you can buy. So... That's all I know about that. I hope to talk to you soon. The next video I send is going to be real long, and it's just going to be talking about strips and scraps and all the joys of my quilting world. Again, I hope you and your family are well and happy and well looked after and safe and sound and tucked in in your own homes. And I hope you're having a sunny day like we are here in uh, South southern Louisiana. It is beautiful. The birds are singing and spring is here. So anyway, have a great day. We'll talk to you next time. Uh, subscribe, like, and share if you feel like it. Help a girl out. Okay, talk to you next time.